Hey guys, it's FIFA Valley here, and welcome to episode 95 of Let's FIFA 13. And we start this episode off by going into the round of 16 of the Gold Cup, coming up against a team with some pretty good players, but a lot of players out of position and formation. So a little bit weird that you have that good players, but not the best of chemistry, but getting on to the gameplay here, I managed to pick up a corner and what a nice finish there by Rubinho, a bicycle kick there into the far side net and we keep on creating chances here with Lamella, I tried it for the near post finish but did not manage to get the goal, but Terrapt will get it here in the 28th minute, some nice work there, and then into the second half you will get a penalty there, and he steps up for the Rit Rooney and I dive the right way, but I will not save it, so I felt a bit of pressure, so I wanted to get Get that two goal lead back and I'll get it a few minutes later here with Tarap to make it 3-1 and we get one final chance here with Lamella finding him on the edge of the box not quite sure what to do and I end up picking up a penalty and Mikuli will step up for that right into the top right hand corner there to make it 4-1 and that is how the game ends and I'm through to the quarter finals keep on going with the 4-3-2-1 side after giving a few of the players some contracts and I come up against a team which is not a too bad, quite well thought out actually, very original and I believe every player is on 9 chemistry, not quite sure but I do think so and he will get the game started here with Morales over the top ball and I could not catch up with him but after that it was me on the ball here, I will find Lamella trying to get it back into the game and not the best of goals but it makes it 1-1. And they are keep on creating chances here with Lamella quite long to hang on to the ball, makes his way into the box and picks up a penalty. And Mikoli, he will step up for that once again and he will convert it once again to make it a 2-1. And then Robinho on the ball almost recreating Terap's goal from the other game but it is saved by the keeper. And then finally I will manage to get that skill goal with the David Luiz which I've been waiting for quite a while and nice stuff. They're going past the two defenders with some of the three star skill moves and that does make it 3-1. But then an over top ball there in the 58th minute to make it 3-2. He gets back into the game but Lamella had something to say as well. Doing a few skill moves here, overusing the fake Rabona a little bit, and gets the shot in on goal. It is saved by the keeper, but Rubinho will pick it up straight away, make his way into the box, and that is a 4 2. Nice stuff there from Rubinho. He will get a goal there to make it a 4 3. A lot of goals in this game, and then I actually get Basink was sent off. A little bit of a harsh. Um, yellow card I feel but uh, he does get sent off there from the push and pull and that means I'm one man down in the remaining 10 minutes or one minute off the game or something like that I do get the last chance of the game I do not convert it and that means I win the game at 4-3 and I'm through to the semi-finals and I thought it was time to change the squad around after giving the last few players a bit of contracts and uh, I couldn't play a t game with the team either because Busingwa had that red card so we go with the 4-1-2-1-2 side into the semi-finals and I come up against uh, a pretty strong uh, Premier League side there with some quite uh, solid players but it is Ibrahimovic here getting the game started just before half time here going past the two of the defenders and that will make it 1-0 but he was uh, quite good using the jockey and um, it made, meant I didn't create that many chances but it is Ibrahimovic pushing through here in the second half to make it a 2-0 so looking pretty good a quite a comfortable lead and we get another chance here with Sissoko from some nice play from the team but it goes just wide and that means I win the game 2-0 through to the final which will be the final game of this episode and I know it's a quite short episode I'll try to make up for that tomorrow with a little bit of a longer episode but getting into the final we come up against a quite nice team there with some strong links between some of the players and he will get the game started. I do not know what Sergio Ramos was doing there. He completely stopped his run. And that meant he got through there to make it 1-0. And I really tried to get back into the game here in the first half. I had a, quite a lot of shots in on goal here with Ibrahimovic hanging on to the ball. I believe he panics the defender. But it is saved by check there. And from the corner we get a bicycle kick in. But once again saved. And here you see the halftime stats. I felt I didn't deserve to be losing. Uh, but I just couldn't get the goal. So I go into the second half and I get a break here in the 55th minute and I know this is a very cheap goal but I just couldn't get that goal before the 55th minute and after I got that everything seemed to go my way we'll find a Wallace in here going past two defenders there with a heel to heel flick and that will make it a 2-1 and just a few minutes later Slatan on the ball nice stuff here makes his way into the box and he gets a shot him but it is a blocked as well and then a few minutes later we will find a Neymar here on the wing and he will make his way inside the uh, pitch, cut inside, and uh, we end up getting a shot in here. Nice work from Neymar to make it 3-1. And straight on the back of that, 
he decides to rage quit, and that means it's the end of this episode. I win the Go Cup, I get the 2,000 coins, and uh, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, as I said, I'll try and have a longer episode out again tomorrow. So thank you for watching again, and I will talk to you later.